guys welcome back to my channel um i know i took a couple weeks off just with everything going on didn't feel right to go ahead and film so um sorry for that but i am back and um i have a really exciting video today just because i am going to do a comparison between my rosalie coin purse and then my louis vuitton key pouch so these are it side by side and the back so if you are interested in finding out more about these two items go ahead and keep watching so we are going to go ahead and start with my louis vuitton key pouch this item was the first louis vuitton piece that i went ahead and added to my collection so this is basically what spearheaded my entire obsession collection what have you on louis vuitton um, this was a really great starter piece. I really was able to get a good idea of how this item was going to wear. This item I got, I think, around August of 2017, so almost like about three years now. Um, and, I mean, there is definite and visible wear to this item, but I use it and probably have been using it consistently almost every single day since I bought the item. So I think honestly because of the shape that it's in right now, it's honestly pretty good for how long that I've had it. So again, this is the Louis Vuitton key pouch. I'll go ahead and put the dimensions of the item right here. Um, it is two pieces of canvas. Each side is going to be right side up and then it also has that um, gold zipper with the gold LV tab if you can see that right there. And I don't know if you can see, but in regards to wear, you can see that there is some visible wearing to the, and like scratches to the tab, basically. That's what it is. So you go ahead and unzip it. And I basically just have all my cards and stuff right there for you. And then it also includes this little loop um, chain. And I will typically, put my keys on this loop and for the most part even though that um, I do place my keys on the loop there is really little to nowhere on the actual loop itself even though that the metal metals are kind of like rubbing against each other and they're just interlocking there's really little to nowhere on it so it's good to note <laughs> so there we are, and that's just basically the little drop that it is from the loop to the actual key pouch. If for some reason I'm not driving or I just don't have my keys with me, I will put, these are my AirPods again, and um, it does have a little loop, and I'll just kind of interlock it like that, so at least like my wallet and my AirPods, because I typically use this as my everyday wallet, are together, so. And so inside, these are all my cards. So the inside basically looks like that. It is just brown on the inside. So I don't know if you can see, but it does say Louis Vuitton Paris right on the inside. And then you can see that the, that the loop kind of connects right there into the key pouch. So this item also does come in the Damier Ben, Damier Zor, and the monogram print. And there are a lot of other um, different styles. I know it also comes in like the Epi and the Empreinte, but I believe it, like it's a different style. It's still called the Key Pouch, but this is the only one. If you want this exact same size and you know the whole specs of this one, it only comes in the three main canvases. Um, this one does retail for I think two fifteen here in the states, but I know that this item is extremely hard to get right now. Um, probably just because this is one of their more inexpensive items. Um, it's still a lot for what it is, don't get me wrong, but um, I think just because this is an entry level piece for Louis Vuitton, I believe that's probably why it's just so hard to get your hands on. So I'm so sorry, I will link it down below, but I know that during this whole quarantine um, time that things have kind of um, gone in and out of stock so maybe if you guys can get your hands on it um definitely recommend it was again my first louis vuitton piece 
I don't know why I'm holding it like that. It was my first, <laughs> my AirPods just chilling. This was my first Louis Vuitton piece and I love it. When I did, when I did get it about three years ago, I know that the price was 200, so, and I believe now it is 215, so it has gone up $15 in those three years, but I still think it is great value for money. As a Louis Vuitton piece, believe me, I know you can get something super similar to this. That's not Louis Vuitton for way less, but again, you're really paying for the name. I think the quality can attest to that too. So again, Louis Vuitton, keep ouch. So this is the Rosalie coin purse. I believe that this retails for $4.25 here in the States. I'm going to go ahead and put the dimensions down right here. Um, I went ahead and purchased this item for myself about two years ago and um, I just wanted a smaller wallet. I do have the um, Louis Vuitton Clements wallet and this one's this one used to be pretty much my, like my everyday um, wallet but unfortunately it doesn't fit in some of my handbags so I did want to um, purchase a smaller wallet in order to fit in some of my smaller handbags just to downsize. This one, it does come, I believe, in the da or Damier Ben and the Monogram. I don't think it comes in the Azor. It might come in the Azor, not for sure. So this is the Monogram. It is the one with the Rose Ballerine. I know you can do different colors um, for the interior slash button. So I went ahead with the Rose Ballerine just because I love pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors. And I just really love how the monogram looks with the pink. I just, I don't know, I think it just complements it really well. I know that kind of looks like, it's kind of looking white, but it's pink. Because the button is Rose Ballerine, the inside is Rose Ballerine as well, with the little zip coin um, tab is also Rose Ballerine as well. I know some people kind of are weary about the wear and tear on the button. Um, I have heard that you can go ahead and get the button replaced. Again, that is what I've heard. Um, I haven't personally experienced it because I've only had it for two years. So, I mean, but for the most part, I think the button is in pretty good shape. Oof, pardon my nails. I haven't done them myself. Um, so there's really little to no wear on the button, which is really nice because I find that like your natural oils of your hands or dirt residue is going to be on the button. But I think, you know, again, little to no wear on the button. So it does have the gussets on each side, which cameo that little rose ballerine. It is one piece of canvas, if you can tell. So it goes all the way around. And this is the back of it, so the LVs are upside down. So you go ahead and open it. Again, Rose Ballerine. You can go ahead and see that it says Louis Vuitton Paris. This one was made in Spain. This is my only Louis Vuitton piece that I have that was made in Spain. But honestly, like I really don't have a preference for things like that. But just to let you know. So then we go ahead and go into the inside and so it has that big open compartment and it includes like two little slip pockets on each side of the big pocket and then another one in the back and then you can go ahead and open this little side and the interior is pink as or rose ballerine as well. A little mark right there and it is from coins. I know a lot of people are against putting coins in their coin pouch because they don't want residue. I really don't mind it. So I do store coins in there. So that is why you can see the residue from the coins in there. So these are again, the two items together again. <laughs> and I will go ahead and put the dimensions of each one back under here, just for you to compare. The Rosalie coin purse is going to be a little bit taller. They're about the same length but you can tell that the Rosalie coin purse is a lot wider. In regards to both items, um, I definitely use the key pouch a lot more. I use this pretty much every single day. This is my wallet just because for work, I don't usually use a purse. So I will just, you know, bring this along with me and it's just so easy, so compact. Because it's attached to my keys, it's just easy for everything all to be together. So um, this one definitely gets a lot more wear than this one. I guess I definitely will gravitate towards this one a little bit more just because all my stuff is already in there and it's a lot less of a hassle to put what's in here into here. They have very similar capacities and I will demonstrate that 
right now. So on an everyday basis, I will pretty much um, carry around 10 cards with me. 10 cards definitely fit very comfortably in here and that's pretty much what I will be carrying on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't have any cash on me right now, but um, you will have to fold the bill in fourths instead of or in order to fit into the key pouch. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything that was in the key pouch into the Rosalie coin purse. It does have that big main compartment and then it has those two slip pockets on each side of the big compartment. Um, I really don't use them. I don't like to stretch out the little card slots. So I kind of just put everything in a big old mess and it snaps. You can see that she's a little thick on the side, but it all fits very comfortably in the Rosalie coin purse. So I went ahead and just found 10 other cards. They're like loyalty cards, whatever. They're not very essential. I just usually keep them in my bigger um, Clements wallet. Now there are 20 cards in the Rosalie coin purse along with my little licenses on the side. And I kind of have to fold the gussets a little bit in order to fold completely. And it does close. You did hear that snap. But look how chunky she is on the side. Yeah. So um, this is definitely stretching the cam, or maybe not the canvas, but it's definitely stretching the leather. So I would not, I would probably never carry this many cards. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you that it does and is able to carry about 20 cards in there. Would I do this? No. Eh. Okay. Wow. That made it, but she thick. She thick. <laughs> okay so this is 20 also and you can see she's a lot thicker you can definitely see the indentation of the cards on the side so yeah and it was kind of a struggle to honestly fit them all at once so probably don't do that and it honestly was kind of a struggle to even zip up the key pouch so again I it is possible so I would not at all carry 20 cards with me in the key pouch if you were to use it but it does you know it does fit that many if you if you need it to 20 cards fit in both items but would i do that no but it is possible in regards to the overall wear and tear i definitely see a lot more wear in the key pouch than the rosalie coin purse but i have um, had this for a little bit longer and I use it substantially more than the Rosalie coin purse so that's probably why. I would say that the capacity is very similar. This one is a little bit more versatile. The keychain loop to hook up to your keys, airpods, whatever, belt loop. Um, I know I used to when I would go out in college um, I could go ahead and hook the little loop onto the belt loop of my pants and then stick this in like the front pocket of my jeans and so you would only really see like this kind of like going from like my belt loop into my jeans it's really helpful just because then my wallet was always in my pocket and then i didn't have to really worry about pickpocketers because that bars you know you never really know i don't know if anyone has really mentioned that that's what i used to do and i probably would still do it right now but obviously i'm not going out anywhere because of quarantine but um yeah actually a really good hack so I know both are very similar um, obviously some have their pros some have their cons but at the end of the day um, if you are decided between both of them and you could only put have one in your collection I think I would go with the key pouch just because it, this fits my lifestyle a lot more and I just use it more consistently I mean this one's so cute and I love it and obviously that's why it's still in my collection but I just use this one a lot more. If it was down to both of them, I would go with the key pouch. But again, it basically depends on your lifestyle and what you're using both of these as. I think this one is just so convenient for what I need it to be. And this one is just like, it's just a really cute wallet. And um, I love using it every time I do. So yeah. So I hope that review was helpful and you guys, you know, enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all stay safe out there and I will catch you in the next one.